Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If you've never stopped by my channel before, I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. On my channel, you will find content centered around reseller life. I love going to places like thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, picking things up and reselling them at a profit. You'll see mystery box unboxings, you'll see thrift store hauls, ride-alongs, and you will see some vlogging of my day-to-day -day life as a reseller. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. I do have an unboxing for you today. This one is from ThreadUp. I bought their 25 pair of shoe rescue box. It normally goes for $120. I bought this on Cyber Monday and they were offering 20% off. So I got this box of 25 pair of shoes for $96 and that comes to $3.86 a pair. Today is the first time that I will be unboxing a shoe thread up rescue box. Here's the box. And why don't we just dig right in? I'm gonna open it up right now. Carefully and quickly slicing the box open and it's a pretty big one so we can see what's inside. And voila. So I'm gonna bring you back up. Okay, the first pair of shoes I have here is a pair of heels or lace up. They do not feel like leather. And the brand is Vetani, which I've never heard of. They are in pretty good shape on the bottom. They're a size 10. And not sure what else to say about these. I want to just keep digging in for more. So far, nothing too special, I don't think. Okay, here's a pair of sneakers. This is what they look like, gray with some peach or pink trim on them. The bottoms look in pretty good shape to me. And let me take a closer look at brand and sizing here. These are New Balance, and I see that they're a size nine. So I think that's a pretty decent pair of shoes right there. I should be able to resell. Here's a pair of boots. They, f they feel like rubber. Maybe it's an all-weather boot. But it looks like Tommy Hilfiger. Okay, really nice condition on the bottom. They look to be a size 10. Have a cute little buckle on the side. And let me take a look at the inside. Yeah, kind of hard to see, but you can see the Tommy Hilfiger label in there too. So, very pleased with these. Keep going. Let's see what else, what else we have. All right, the next pair I'm pulling out. Okay, this is a, a pair of suede heels from Tahari. I think those are good. I don't sell a whole lot of shoes. I don't source a whole lot of shoes. Um, you know, I source them, but they have to be in really good shape because I don't want to spend a lot of time with cleaning and such. But uh, these can just be brushed up a little bit. They have some metallic detail here. And yeah, I think they're a cute pair of shoes and I think they have definitely resale value. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, these are cute. This is a pair of uh, suede or faux suede ballerina flats. They're made by Me Too. And the bottoms are in pretty good shape. They're a size seven. So those are cute. It's a nice basic ballerina shoe. With the brand, I don't think I can get too much, but I think I could resell them. I see a pair of boots down here. Here's one, I have to dig for the other one. All right, I've got a pair of boots here. They look really in nice shape. Here's the bottoms. And let's take a closer look here if I can figure out. Looks like they're a size seven. And look at the detail. 
We've got some cutout detail here, a little strap going across the ankle, zip up on the side. And let's take a look at what, what brand they are. Everybody by BZ Moda. Not really familiar with that brand. This is what the label looks like. See if I can get it in the shot here. Here we go. But they feel like leather. I hope they are. I can't find um, content on them right now, but I'll look these up and see what I can get for them. All right, the next pair I'm pulling out here. Cute pair of mules. They are, it says made in Italy. They're a size eight. The bottoms are not in too bad a shape. And they are made by Isaac Mizrahi. So those are kind of cute. I don't know what kind of resale value they have. I'm gonna guess between 15 and 20. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe it's more than that. So those are nice. All right, oh, these are cute. Okay, this is a pair of, I don't know if they're called peep toe, really high heels, slip-ons, and they are by Michael Kors. They are tan suede. Those are pretty. Nice buckle detail there. Nice shape. These are a size seven. So I'm happy with this pair. They have a couple of dings at least this one shoe has a, a ding on the heel. But still overall really good shape. Let's see what else we have down here. All right, this next pair, ooh, Kohan. Now this is a nice pair of shoes. It looks to be, they look to be in really good shape. Black suede, they might just need a little bit of brushing up, which I don't mind doing. And they're in really good shape. Let me take a look at the bottoms. This is what the bottoms look like. The heels are in great shape. You can see they aren't scuffed. And these are a size eight and a half B. Got a little platform on them. These are nice. I really like these. All right. Let's reach down here. The next pair of shoes I am pulling out looks like a pair of gladiator sandals, flats. These go all the way up the calf. They are made by Aldo. If you can see Aldo's name right there. The bottoms are looking to be in pretty good shape. And these guys are tan. They feel like they might be leather with gold buckles. Really cute, little studs going up the front. I can't figure out what size they are. Um, if they were printed on the bottom, even though the bottoms are in really good shape, looks like if there was a size there, it's kind of worn off, so I'll have to look further into that. They're really cute sandal. All okay. All right. The next pair is a pair of Calvin Klein flats. They're kind of a taupey, really light taupe color with a mint toe and a metallic band going across. They're really cute. The bottoms are in really good shape. Um, and a little misshape in here, but I think just stuffing it with some tissue and letting it sit, that'll That'll shape right up. The size is nine and a half medium on these. They're really cute. What do we think so far on this box? Oh, okay. I'm happy with the first glance at the heel. A pair of Vans, kind of a perforated white leather. Really nice shape. These look like they're barely worn. I like these. The inside also looks like it's in good shape. And let's take a look to see if I can find a size on these. Uh, there is a little bit of a, a tear. Ah, uh, darn. 
these are torn right at the heel. So the heel has some issue right there on the inside. All right, uh, the size on these, these are a size 10 in women's. So not sure about the heel part. I may have to list them at a reduced uh, asking price because of that, but they're still great looking on the outside. Okay, here's a pair of espadrilles. These are from American Eagle. So it's got that straw wedged heel there. Black, nice shape. I think the bottoms, bottom, are they, I can't tell if they go this way or this way. <laughs> Don't they, they almost look like two left feet. Or is it just me? Anyway, um, yeah, these are a size seven. I swear they look like two left feet. Look, isn't that weird? Unless, unless the match is in the box of each one, but they're identical. Size seven black. Don't they look like the same? I am puzzled. Okay, let's move on. That's so weird. Two left feet, okay. I'm pulling out a pair of wedges, ankle straps. These are cute. I like these. These are ankle straps and these are by BCB Generation. They are a size nine right there. Have somewhere at the bottom, but not too bad. The insides also look to be in good shape. And I am going to tie this little buckle here. What? Oh, look, it's broken. They sent me a pair of broken ones. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, two left feet and a pair of shoes with a broken, see, it's supposed to look like that. So, what to do about that, I'm not sure. Maybe I can let them know that happened and maybe they'll give me either a credit or send me some, maybe they'll send me some extra shoes. Um, okay, this is a pair of sandals. It looks like they're Steven by Steve Madden. A little bit misshapen from being in the box, but I think that's an easy fix, again, to stuff them and reshape them. But they're kind of cool. They have a little block heel here. Two straps, they're cute. These are cute. The size on these guys, let me check the other shoe also. Yeah, they're both in good shape. And let's check the size out. These are a seven medium and it says leather upper. So these are really cute. There's another pair of athletic shoes in the royal blue with pink accents. And the maker on these, Gel Nimbus is the type. Oh, they're Asics. So these are Asics. This is what they look like. And let me get a size on these. They are US size 10. And they look to be in pretty good shape. There's the bottoms. This is a pair of chaps, okay? Brown leather, these are cute. Got a little tassel on the front. Pretty much flats, I'd say. And really good shape. The bottoms look to be in really nice shape and so do the interiors. The size on these, these are a size eight and a half B. So those are cute. We still have a few pair left here. Okay, Pierre Dumas. This is a chunky pair of sandals. It's got somewhat of an elastic band here at the ankle. These are cute though. See the detail on the heel? These feel like suede or faux suede. I'm not familiar with Pierre Dumas, 
Let's look at the other shoe. So they're brown metallic, you can see. And really cute pair. Here's what the bottoms look like. And the size on these, oh, look at the back. They've got little studs on the heel. So the size here we have, ah, there it is, eight and a half, it's on the bottom. So they're eight and a half. These are cute, I like these. Some of these will be sold, I'm sure, for the spring. Shoes of Prey, that's the brand on these. They're striped with a, a brown toe. They're cute, they're little flats. I've never heard of the brand Shoes of Prey, but it's really cute style. The bottoms are in pretty good shape, but just a little wear, and the size is five and a half on these. So this is what they look like. All right. Oh. Oh, Healthy Heels is what these are. That's the name of the brand. Oh, Healthy Heels. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, so this is a pair of comfort shoes. They're very padded here. We've got the ankle strap. These are black with a little uh, patch. I don't know what you call that, but uh, I've got like a, a patch work texture there. And this is an ankle strap. Got metallic, chunky little low heel there. These are actually very cute. And here's the other one. And I did see a strap uh, at the bottom of the box. So the strap is not missing here. It just came undone. The size on these are size seven. So those are cute. I don't know this brand at all, never heard of it, but those are cute. Here's a cute pair of booties. Black suede heels are kind of chunky. These are cute lace-ups. There's the toe and just a little bit of wear on the bottom. There's the heel. Say they are Ivanka Trump. You can see that. These are size eight. Let me make sure. Yeah, these are size eight. So these are really cute. Black leather suede booties by Ivanka Trump. And she's got a little logo right there. It's a silver logo. Those are cute. Might just need to brush them off a little to make them sellable, but overall they're in very good shape. All right, we still have a few more pair here. This is, oh, Zara. Zara Trafalic. Is that how you say that? There's the brand. Again, little metal detail. These are silver, polished silver detail there. And these are really cute. It's got three straps. There's silver, tan, and ivory. So these are nice, I like these. Very good shape, very minimal wear at the bottom. And there they are together. These are cute, I like these. I like these, these are nice. Oh, these are really cute. Okay, these are a brown, light brown ankle boot they're leather, they feel great, nice and soft. Kind of got a chunky heel, love the heel on these, beautiful shape. The bottoms aren't too bad. These are really cute, and this is what the side looks like on these. You just slip them right on, and they are a size 10. There's, there's the uh, label inside. And these are just super cute. I like these a lot. Very clean, very nice shape. I like them. Two more pair. All right, well, dress barn. Okay. These are, I don't know, I don't know if they're real patent leather or not. I'll, Check it out. These are wedges and they're navy blue. Here's the bottom of the shoe there. 
That's their dress barn, if you can see that. Let's take a look to see what size these guys are. These are size seven and a half. So, you know, I'm not too excited, but it's okay. $3.86 a pair. You're not gonna have all uh, Cole Haan in here. And the final pair of shoes, a pair of black pointed toe pumps. They're black suede and they've got a cute little reptile zigzag in a brown and black there with some silver metallic trim, as you can see. Cute little, I guess you'd call that a kitten heel. And the bottoms on these, they have some wear, but not too bad. Did I say they were Aldo? I may have already said that. And the size on these, these are a size nine. So those are cute. Again, I think they'll brush up real nice and I'll be able to resell them. Well, what did you think of this box? I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I did here with this 25 pair of shoes for $3.86 a pair. Leave me some comments down below and let me know how you think I did. Also, um, I'd like to know if you had a favorite pair or two from this box and if you think I'll make a decent profit. I think I will. I think I don't know what that is yet because the shoe game isn't my specialty, but I think I'll do okay. $3.86 a pair seemed like a pretty low risk uh, way for me to try their Thread Up Rescue box of shoes. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this box and if you had a favorite pair, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.